All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So the Moto E4 uh, is a phone that a lot of people are jumping on right now. There is a Moto E4 Plus. I probably will grab that as well. But this phone right here, this is the Verizon prepaid version. And I posted a video a while back, a couple days back, and said, hey, you know, I've actually unlocked this for two bucks. It actually works on all carriers. Right now, I'm using it on Cricket, and I also tested it on T-Mobile. They both work fine where I live at. Picture mail, everything works. Um, I've, I've tested those. So, and I didn't do anything special. I just, the regular APNs that goes with each carrier, and that's it. But, you know, I've had this phone for probably about two weeks now. And I've given you several videos on it. I've tested the camera. I've done all kinds of things. This phone is actually a great buy. And, and the reason it's a great buy is because the Verizon version um, prepaid phones are not unlocked like they're postpaid phones. But this one, I was able to unlock it for two bucks, and it works with all carriers. So, and everything works on here. This is really good. But the great part about it is I got it for 39 bucks at Walmart. So they're flying off the shelves at Walmart and people are buying them and unlocking them and using them on whatever carrier they want. Now, is this bad for Verizon? Uh, yeah, well, you know, people, Verizon wants you to use it on their network. But um, most people don't have Verizon or Verizon's really expensive or this phone isn't offered on their carrier. Whatever the, their need or reasoning is for getting the phone, and unlocking it and using it, hey, that's good for them. They, they got a win-win. This does have 7.1, and it comes with 16 gigs onboard storage. It's a very lightweight phone. It has um, SD card. Uh, it's just one of those things um, that it's just a great deal if you can grab it, man. Removable battery. If you have a Moto G4 Play, you've actually got a spare battery because these both use the same battery. And uh, to me, this is kind of an upgrade from this. Uh, this, this phone is actually really nice. There's a couple of versions of this, Boost and Metro. I definitely recommend the Verizon version because it has a fingerprint reader. And it's not the fastest fingerprint reader, but it has a fingerprint reader. It also has the one button navigation where you can turn off the on-screen buttons. I just prefer the on-screen buttons. And I think I'll probably always, the one button navigation is nice. You do get a little bit more screen. Uh, but when you're using certain applications, the buttons hide away anyway. Uh, but my overall experience with this phone, it has just been great. I mean, the cameras on this thing are impressive. Even at the $120 price point, this has still been a fantastic purchase um, for someone because there's the unlock version costs $129. And there's no difference in the unlock version from this one. It just has this one's locked to Verizon, you know. So this is the probably the exact match of the unlock version. But this one has a Snapdragon 425 on the 430 chipset. I looked at the board is a 430, but the chipset chipset shows 425. So which one does it have? Um, the 8937 is a, the 430 chipset, but the and that's what board is in here, but they actually have a 425 chipset in here. Not that that matters to the average consumer, because the average consumer don't care about that. They just want to get a nice, good phone, and I can recommend this phone. Uh, just having it and using it, uh, it has just been great. I mean, battery life is really, really good. That front speaker may be the only source of audio coming out, but that front speaker is really loud. And here's what I do when I'm when I'm watching YouTube videos and I'm working, I'll put on I have a little kickstand that I put here and I put you know devices on it and I've been using this one to do the videos for, like uh, watch my my favorite YouTubers videos because this has the front facing speaker and it's really good on battery and I've listened to this thing all day man I can put music on sometimes if I want to I know I have big Bluetooth speakers and Google Home and all this and Alexa and all this stuff but sometimes I just want to have a nice quiet. Uh, air, uh, music or video going while I'm editing or doing something else. Battery life is great on here. The overall experience with this phone is really good. Um, what what makes it really good though, I think, is because it, it you can grab the Verizon version with the fingerprint reader for thirty nine dollars at Walmart. That's just way too appealing uh, to a person that I would tell a person not to get. Only thing I wish that that I could do is get the gold version. I wish the carriers would get the different colors. Like, why don't they get the different colors? Uh, but my overall experience with this phone has been phenomenal. I, nothing short of that. It's been really, really good. How how much can you complain about a phone that's only cost me $39 and then $2 to unlock on all of my other carriers that I have? I mean, you know. Somebody asked me, will this work on the Verizon Postpaid? I don't know that it will. I, I closed my Verizon Postpaid account. Uh, so I can't tell you for sure. I don't know if it does, uh, but I'm sure someone will test it and they'll have an answer for you. But as of right now, I don't. So I don't know. So, you know, the specs on this thing is a 5-inch 720p display. You get an 8 megapixel on the back. 
Uh, you get a five on the front, and they're both 2.2 apertures. They're good, man. I mean, you have an LED flash on the front of your phone. Why aren't more OEMs doing that? They're using the screen to as the flash. So just little things like that make this good. It's got an FM radio. So if you don't have service, pop in on your headphones and uh, plug them in, and boom, you've got an FM radio with your local stations right in your pocket. Um, Wi-Fi, everything, it's it's good, man. I, I just don't have a, a complaint at all, I think, man. You see there, I got the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi going. I mean, a pocket-friendly phone with 5, five gigahertz Wi-Fi, that's a huge bonus. There's too much to like about this phone. So I'll give you another follow-up video later on. It's your man, Jay Will. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. But I had to tell you that the Moto E4 Play is still phenomenal. I'm loving it. I'm using it every day. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more. Get one if you can. Hurry. Hurry.